Rap is a section of Sam Goody in between R&B and rock. Rap is the bullshit being kicked around the clock on the radio and TV, seemingly non-stop. Rap is a crock. It came from hip-hop, as does a child from a mother. But it's taken on a life and a meaning of its own, my brother. Rap is hip-hop's demon seed, conceived when she was raped by greed. See, she didn't believe in abortion, so the youngin' got a chance to earn a portion of his inheritance. Rap was just a shorty then, and he only saw the value of the legacy in terms of dollars and cents. And without the sense God gave him, he chose to slave within the system to learn the ins and outs of the game and what it was all about to get the fame. Excuse me, flows just grow through me, like trees to branches, cliffs to avalanches. It's the praying mantis, deep like the mind of Farrakhan, a motherfucking rap phenomenon. Plus... He thought moms were stupid for letting all them fat cats abuse her and her music. So he decided he was going to flip the script all the way around and show the industry how to really get down. So he signed on the dotted line, surrendering his soul to the corporate devil in exchange for exposure on a whole nother level. Rap is hip-hop's demon seed, conceived when she was raped by greed. The devil told him what to rhyme about, line by line, no doubt, for rap to get the airplay and the clout. Rap thought, all I need is the ears. It really don't matter what the people need to hear. We should be smart enough to steer clear of the crap that's been plaguing us since way, way back. Shit, this is the big payback. What he didn't know was that his plan was whack. Rap is like a setup, a lot of games, a lot of suckers with colorful names. I'm so and so, I'm this, I'm that, huh. But they all just. He had begun to doubt all of mom's accomplishments and how they came about. He forgot about his roots and reduced them to the trees on his Timberland boots. He traded the art of bombing trains for the hobby of glamorizing hoes and the passion of live performances for some whack-ass crotch-grabbing shows. He traded in mom's struggle for a double, shot a Kovacier, that's that yak. Worse than that, he traded the originality of the scratch for a recycled act on a remix track that was a Motown number one 21 years back. He traded in battling for respect by spitting on your back for killing peers to control corners that pump the most crack. He chose to wade in the shallow waters instead of treading the deep. Traded consciousness for sleep. Somehow the rap game reminds me of the crack game. Used to sport ballys and gazelles with black frames. Now I'm into fat chain sex and text. Fly new chicks and new kicks. Heinies and bets. You see, rap is short for rape, which is just another word for take. And to keep on taking and taking and taking, no matter what or who it's breaking, is quite plainly the work of Satan. These so called players think I'm hating. Truth is, I'm just waiting and waiting. And growing tired of waiting for them to realize that art that awakens the people is the only real prize. I'm growing tired of waiting for them to realize that these stories they tell are visualized in all three eyes of our children. And these images that they spill in these videos mentally kill them. Flashy jewels and trashy women. And you know you can't build when your foundation is mush. If you ain't kicking concrete facts, black, you need to fucking... Cause it's the real shit, the shit that make you feel shit. Love them in the club shit, have you wild and out when you're bumping. Drugs to the ear, drugs the raw, uncut. Have a nigga OD, cause it's never enough. And mom just shakes her head in loving concern. Wondering when the boy will learn. All that glitters ain't gold. If only he would do as he was told. Shame that he never knew his dad. That he grew up to be just as bad, to be just as 